All right, this is a continuation of our day one lesson about basic statistics. In this part of the lesson, we will go ahead and talk about standard deviation and how to find it. Um, and we're going to be finding it by hand. All right, there are ways of doing it using the calculator, which we will learn about in a uh, upcoming lesson. But before we can just use a calculator to do all the work for us, we need to know what the calculator is actually doing. So this is how you do standard deviation by hand. Um, real quick, before we do the standard deviation though, uh, the directions say we're supposed to find the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. Um, so here we go. The mean, that's what you get when you add up all of the numbers and divide by how many numbers you have. So in this case, the mean, which by the way, the symbol for mean is x bar, like this, and that turns out to be 44. Okay, uh, so that's the mean. If we want to find the median, it's important that the numbers be in order from either least to greatest or greatest to least. And uh, this time we're lucky because the numbers are in order from greatest to least. If the numbers are in order from greatest to least, the median is going to be the middle number. Now in this case, um, because there are 10 numbers, there will be two middle numbers. Um, so let's see. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the middle right here. Five numbers on the left, five numbers on the right. So 45 and 43 are the middle two numbers. Now, if there was just one middle number, you know, if there were an odd uh, number of numbers, then that would, uh, we would have our answer. If there are two middle numbers, you have to find the mean of those two numbers. So we need to add them up and divide by two. Um, you can probably see that in this case, 45 plus 43 divided by two, um, that's going to give us 44. Okay, so the mean was 44, uh, but the median is also 44. Okay, um, now we're supposed to find the mode. Remember that the mode is the number that repeats the most often. Just write this over here. So scanning through here, uh, only one number repeats at all, and that's 40. 40 occurs twice. So the mode is going to be 40. Um, we're also supposed to find the range. Now the range is the highest value minus the lowest value. Okay, so the range is going to be um, 51 minus 39. So the range is 12. All right, so that's it. So we found the, uh, the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. All right, so that's how you do all that basic stuff. Um, but now it is time to find the standard deviation. To do this, we're going to need the mean, which was 44. And uh, I find it helps, if you're going to do this by hand, to create a table to keep yourself organized. So we're going to do three columns. We're going to have the data, and then we're going to have the, uh, the difference, where we do the data minus the mean. That's why we need the mean. So we're going to have all these differences. And then we're going to square all those. And then I'll show you what to do after that. All right, so here I have all the data entered in the first column. I just took all these numbers and I wrote them down. Now, we're supposed to find the difference in this column. We're supposed to take um, each data entry and subtract the mean. So here I'm going to do 51 minus 44 and put that here. So 51 minus 44 is going to be 7. Um, 48 minus 44 is 4. And then we'll just keep going. So you get 3 and 2 and 1 and negative 1 
and negative 3 and negative 4 negative 4 again and negative 5 alright so these are all the differences that you get by doing the data minus the mean which was 44 now we're supposed to take all these differences and square them so that's going to give us 49 and 16 and 9 and 4 and 1 and 1 and 9 and 16 and 16 and 25 okay now we have uh, the squares of all of all the differences now um, what we need to do if we want to find the standard deviation um, our next move is we need to find the mean of these differences okay so I'm just going to stick that underneath here um, we need the mean or right here the mean of all these differences that we found in other words we need to add all these up and divide by 10 because there's 10 of them all right, that mean comes out to be 14.6. All right, and again, this mean, and, and I don't mean the mean of the original data, I'm talking about the mean of these differences. I just added up all of these numbers and divided by 10. So that came out to be 14.6. So now, um, there's only one step le left. So for the standard deviation, Um, and by the way, the symbol for standard deviation is a lowercase sigma, which looks sort of like this. Okay. Um, for standard deviation, all it is is the square root of this mean that we just found. All right. So it's the square root of, if I can just put this into words for you, the mean of the differences squared. Okay, so the standard deviation is going to be the square root of 14.6. Okay, um, so that's, that's it. If, if now I just take the square root of 14.6, okay, I get 3.820 eight two zero nine nine four six three five obviously we're going to round this and uh, so we can go ahead and round it to let's say three point eight two we'll do the nearest hundredth so that's it that is how you do the standard deviation okay so just to review to do the standard deviation you're going to need the mean so you have to find the mean of the data then you take each number and subtract it subtract the mean from it so you get all these differences um, then you square those differences and you find the average or the mean of the differences and then you take the square root of that number and that's your standard deviation okay let's do that one more time let's do one more example of that but once again, real quick, we need to find the mean, median, mode, and range. Uh, again, the mean is what we will get if we take all of these numbers and add them up, and then we divide by 9, because this time there are 9 numbers. So we're just going to take all these numbers, add them up, this plus this plus this plus this plus this, and divide by 9. If you do that, um, you're going to get 114.4 repeating. Um, so that's the mean. We're going to need that to find the standard deviation later. Now, for the median, um, these numbers really needed to be in order. Uh, and I'm going to put them in order from least to greatest. All right, here's the same data rewritten in order from least to greatest. Um, now, the median, if the numbers are in order will be the middle number 
Um, so there are nine values here. So there, there's an odd number of values. So there will be one middle number. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Kabam, one, two, three, four. So 110 is the middle value. So that is going to be the median, 110. Now the mode is the value that appears the most often. 110 appears three times. And uh, it's the only one that even repeats at all. So 110 is definitely going to be the mode. Now, remember, the range is the highest value minus the lowest value. So for the range, we will do 135 minus 100, which of course will be 35. OK, so there's your mean, median, mode, and range. Um, now, I'm going to erase most of this except for the mean, which we need to find the standard deviation. All right, so now let's go ahead and, fi ahead and find the standard deviation. I've already recorded the data in the first column. And uh, now we'll need the differences in the second column. So we now have our mean of 104. Go ahead and use 114.4. Even though it's repeating, we'll just uh, round that to the nearest tenth. So we'll do each number minus the mean and put that here. All right, so these are all the differences that you come up with if you subtract one by one the data minus the mean of 114.4. Now we're supposed to take these differences and square them and put them here. So let's do that now. So here's what you get when you square all those differences. Okay, now to find the standard deviation, the next thing we need to do is find the, the mean of these squares. All right, and I'm just going to put that underneath here, and I'm going to let me, maybe I'll change colors. Because what I'm about to find now is the mean of the squares. Okay, it's the mean of all of these numbers. And again, when I talk about finding the mean, I'm talking about adding these up and dividing by how many there are. So I'm going to add these up and divide by 9. That turns out to be 102.5. All right, so now we're down to the last step. The standard deviation is just going to be the square root of this number. Okay, so the standard deviation Um, which we use this symbol for the standard deviation is just the square root of the mean of the squares. I know that's a mouthful. So the mean of the squares. Okay, and really you have to understand this whole process to understand what I mean by mean of squares. It's not all contained right here. Um, so that means the standard deviation in this case is going to be the square root of 102.5. And that turns out to be 10.1. And that is how you find the standard deviation if you have to work it all out by hand. In a later lesson, I will teach you how to use the calculator to do this. Um, but I feel it's important for you to know what's going on behind the scenes. All right, I will see you on the next video.